everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. Well, today is a very special day. Our clue from Oberon was a pig. Hmm. The special day is Jillian DiPietro's birthday. And the book is Jillian Jiggs. Now, Jillian DiPietro spells hers with a G, but Jillian Jiggs with a J. But let's hear the story. And what does it have to do with pigs, one wonders. Let the story begin. A long time ago, when she was quite small, Jillian Jiggs wore nothing at all. Oh, those were the days her mother would sigh as she looked around the room and started to cry. For Jillian Jiggs liked to dress up and play and this made a mess in her room every day. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later, I promise, as soon as I'm through, I'll clean up my room, I promise, I do. Now, Jillian meant every word she said, but later the promises fell out of her head when her friends Henry and Beckett started to shout. Jillian just had to go out. Oh, look at the boxes. Yippee, hooray. It's hard to believe someone threw these away. I'm mad about boxes. Boxes are fun. No one will guess who we are when we're done. No one would guess, mm, but a mother would know. A mother could tell by the tip of a toe. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later, I promise, as soon as I'm through, I'll clean up my room. I promise, I do. We'll help, Mrs. Jiggs, we'll do it. Don't worry, we'll all work together. We'll clean up in a hurry. They started to clean up her room, it's true. They started to clean, but before they were through, <gasps> Jillian thought of a game that was new. They had to stop cleaning. What else could they do? Let's dress up as pirates, the sails to the bed. Heave ho, you landlubbers, full speed ahead. They dressed up as dragons, they dressed up as trees, they dressed up as bad guys who never say please. They dressed up as chickens cooped up and caged. <gasps> they turned into monsters who hollered and raged. They cackled like witches. They stirred and they boiled. Then they were royalty, pampered and spoiled. They tiptoed and twirled like light little fairies. They made themselves wings and flew like canaries. Whenever they thought that was it, they were through. She'd change all their costumes and start something new. Then Jillian's mother came in with her mop, took one look around and fainted. Kaplop! Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. Later, I promise I do. I soon <gasps> start cleaning this minute, this second, not later. I want this room tidy. I want this room straightened. You'd better go now, Beckett and Graham. See you tomorrow when everything's neater. Ah, oh, what a great story. What a great story. And uh, as I said, we have a, a birthday today, Jillian's, but let's check our chocolate and vanilla. Okay, let's see. I've gotten a lot of votes. So for vanilla, I have Haley, I have Graham, Audrey and Lila, I have Elliot, Joseph, Alice and Nicholas. For chocolate, I have Allison, Maeve, Ben, B, Molly, Riley, 
Henry and Emily. Let's count the vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, another perfect, perfect day. Let's see. Eight and eight. Eight vanilla, eight chocolate. Okay. Are you ready to sing to Jillian? Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jillian. Happy birthday to you. So lovely. All right, everybody. Do you think Oberon has a clue? Mm, I bet he does. Where's that clue, Oberon? Oh, look at this. Wow, very, very interesting. All right, think about this and see if you can guess what our story will be tomorrow, okay? Thank you, Cameraman Dan. Thank you, every one of you who listened to our story today. And thank you, Oberon. Remember, I love you all very, very much. <laughs>